What's up, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Drop Pod. Today, we're going to be talking to Ronimo Games, who have graciously hosted us here on the stream, as we're going to be talking about the new Beta Nods patch, Spectator slash Replay mode, and maybe a little bit of information about Foxy. I'm Forgo Jester with me below, the man himself, the man of many voices, the weasel. How you doing, bro? Hello, my little Forkers. How you doing? Okay. Yeah, it's good to see you. Let's do it. Let's do a five. Ready? One, two, oh, yeah. three. Ugh. All right. Well, almost. It's good enough. It. <laughs> we'll, we'll chalk that up to leg, man. We'll chalk it up to leg. <laughs> <laughs> Our special guest I today, love... over there. So, uh, nope, over there. It's so gonna the be legend. the legend. Yeah, He's you do the, the intro. You do the intro. He's Go for the it. legend. Okay. Okay. I'll, I'll actually, I'll actually announce him like, like he should. Right there, to my right is a man of many voices he is a man that you know him as leon also the mighty voltar with many eyes yeah He's one of the best devs in the history of awesome knots and we know him as Ali. hello hello guys high five yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's a little, little harder for me to do a diagonal five, but uh, <laughs> it's good to have you here, dude. We do have uh, our an empty square nice right beside me, so also, I, d I don't actually get a teammate. I want to say hello to empty square. Yeah, empty square. Empty square. Empty square. Hearts, <laughs> man. Empty oh. square is my best friend. My I didn't, best, my I didn't know what to do. Friend. I didn't know what to put there. So I mean. He's, he lords above you, and he sits beside me, and we're just going to have to live with it today. Um, just as a quick before we do anything, guys, if the sound levels are off, please do let me know in chat. Still adjusting things. But we are going to have Ollie lead us off with the recent news of the latest Beta Knots patch. Yeah, we, uh, we released a new patch uh, yesterday, actually. Uh, we worked very hard to, uh, to get it out, but uh, we managed to do it. Um, well, this fa this patch isn't the biggest patch that we're doing. We're having a really, 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 really awesome plans for the next patch. It will be really cool. Um, but this patch is also pretty cool. Uh, it has some uh, various bug fixes. Um, the uh, the infamous sliding bug. Uh, will hopefully oh. be fixed in this patch. Seriously, I, I have to give you uh, <laughs> so many thanks if you can seriously get rid of that sliding bug. Because it's Coco with knockback, it breaks me as much as it is actually fun to play. Yeah, exactly. So we're, 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 we, we've tried some stuff out and hopefully we think uh, it should be fixed right now. But that's why it's in beta, so uh, you guys will have to tell us if we fixed it in the, in the right way. Uh, and there's also... I, I, I just want to say, I read some of the patch notes, and I'm just like, I really want to see this happening as fast as possible. Yeah, there, there's also a lot of changes to, uh, to Voltar. We, uh, once again, we, uh, we did some changes to his main attack. <laughs> um, like changes as in, like, good changes or nerfs? <laughs> well, it's basically buffs. Okay. Um, but we'll probably have to compensate for those buffs in another way. Like uh, you buffed his attack well, again. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> it wasn't. It wasn't good enough. <laughs> oh my god! Have you seen what I said in the last drop? Yeah, 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 I did. I did. No, well, the, the thing is, <laughs> what, what we thought about Voltars, I uh, mean, attack was kind of clumsy, and how you had to use it with the whole uh, keeping the mouse button pressed. So yeah. what we did is it automatically charges right now. Yeah, so okay, so just to tell the stream, uh, to make it clear, Voltar does not have to press the left click anymore. Your mice are now safe from <laughs> destruction. <laughs> you can keep them more years now <laughs> before yep. you destroy them by left clicking too much with Voltar. It automatically recharges. I'm happy about that. I really yeah, yeah, yeah. I know it's a buff. I know it's a hell of a buff right now for him, but don't worry. That's why the beta beta is uh, beta, and because we're going to balance it out. Don't worry about yeah. it. Yeah, yeah, definitely. So it it'll probably will probably change some numbers because it's way too good right now. Like we did some yeah. uh, some testing, and it was already way too good. But we'll see what uh, what happens when uh, when everyone plays it. 
So for anyone uh, out there, that's totally not the wrong, the right link. Uh, totally going to put a link here in the chat to the patch notes, but also we can just go here, over let them. let me help you. Yeah, already beat you to it. Already uh, oh, quickly, okay. we got them here on the screen. So as you said, you're looking at the Voltar, and yeah, I mean, seven, eight points right there. Suicide drones. You also reduced the solar per heal. Yeah, because, because since he um, is now able to do actual damage or pretty okay damage with his main attack if you take the upgrade and because his drones all, all already did good, good damage uh, he doesn't really need the healing anymore so much for making money all right i agree um, i agree and it also was kind of the it also kind of spiraled out of control at some point so this is uh yeah it needed to be nerfed and he already has Pretty good abilities to get money. Uh, I just want to say to the chat, by the way, uh, hello chat. Uh, if you have any questions for one of the devs, Ollie, with us here in the drop pod, please, please speak your voice, say say whatever you want in the chat, and we'll make sure Ollie answers it because definitely, I, yeah, because I have a gun and I'm not afraid <laughs> to use it. I have a gun. <laughs> That, that's the most ruthless uh -oh. negotiator that uh -oh. you can get. And now he's, he's literally holding your square hostage, Ali. So you, you might yep. be forced to answer a I few can things. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Voltar's getting some changes. The, the sliding bug is going to get some changes. Now, I was playing some games last night, and I don't actually remember Froggy G being a popular pick, but he was in 100% of my games last night. Is he, in the, is he in a good spot? Because I see you got some changes coming up for him in terms of um, Froggy. Yeah. Yeah, Froggy G has some better synergy between his ranged and his. Uh, uh, let me see the patch names. <laughs> and we did something, uh, yeah. I, I don't remember, but yeah. With his, his Stormfish and his, uh, his, uh, his Piercing attack yes. uh, work together because the old way that that wasn't the case so hopefully that'll make for a little bit more build variety so it's not really a uh, a buff or a nerf or anything it just uh, makes stuff more intuitive basically because if you buy a piercing attack you expect kind of expect the thornfish attacks to also pierce so that's why but uh, yeah, I, I, I think Fringy has been a, a problem for a long time, balance-wise, because he was always so good, but he also had a pretty high s skill ceiling. Like, if you if you are, are terrible, Fringy probably isn't your best pick, because you have to get in there and you have to get up close and personal with everybody. Um, but I, I think he's in a pretty good spot right now. It's kind of hard to, uh, to balance him, since he's... Uh, yeah, he's one of the more skill-based nods, basically. Um, to, be, to be to be perfectly honest, I think Frog has always been like powerful when mastered. He's like yeah. he's one of those nods that is really um, is not. I won't. I don't want to say easy to master, but he's not hard to master. But he's one of those nods that make you comfortable when you're just starting the game. He used to be my, or he's my original main, and I'm not as good as I was back in the day with uh, Froggy, but I am definitely, I'm still comfortable with picking him up whenever the dice says I need to pick him up. Sorry for so, the, yeah. <clears throat> sorry for the sudden big image, guys, but I filled the empty square. We have the entire cast of Awesome Nuts now keeping us <laughs> yeah. <here>. yeah. <laughs> That's actually pretty good. I like it. Yeah. Okay. Uh, let's see. Um, let's see some questions from the from the people in the chat. Uh, Ali um, Golson uh, wants to know what is your role in Ronimo? What is your actual role in Ronimo? What I do all day. Um, well, I, I I'm one of the company founders. So as you might know, we we founded the company in 2007 with seven guys, and I, I I'm one of those guys. And also, I, uh, I mainly work on art, so anything visual, animations, menus, uh, 
yeah, just just visual stuff, and and also I uh, uh, I do a little little bit of design work as well. So I did Foxy, which uh, you might might know. Which is one that, of the that uh, one not yeah. <laughs> which will join the astronauts cast within uh, within a month. Is I it think. gonna be February? Do you think, or is it gonna be more March? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. That that patch will be pretty big. It, w it won't it won't have Foxy alone. It w will have more stuff. So my fe February is pretty optimistic, I think. But it it might it might work out. So I'm not sure. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> yeah, we we try to get everything out as soon as possible, but sometimes uh, yeah, planning is hard. <laughs> <laughs> Not um, everyone can do just, it, man. <laughs> just to, yeah. just to make something clear for a lot of people that really wants to know, and I know this question has been answered like a thousand million gajillion times before, but here we go. We get, we'll get a dev to actually answer that question. Do it. Uh, Shadow Knight RP asks, "Will you update the PS3 and Xbox versions?" Uh, basic answer: No, we won't. Uh, the, well, the, the the entire situation with the PS3 and the Xbox 360 is pretty complicated, and it's kind of hard to explain. But um, the thing is, it's it's really expensive and a lot of work to update those versions, and also they're uh, published by our uh, publisher we had for the consoles, which is DTP, and they went bankrupt. Um, yeah, which kind of prevents us from doing anything, basically. Um, yeah, so it's it's a shame because a lot a lot of us ourselves we really like to update those versions, but right now it just from a business yeah perspective it's kind of impossible. Um, yeah, we our 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 goal though with the PS4 version is that we will update that. So probably oh, not okay. as often yeah. as uh, as the Steam version, but uh, we will be updating that version. There you go. So all you PS4 players, there's a definite uh, bright future in your future. <laughs> there's, a future there's a bright future in your future. I've heard exactly. a lot about console development that, I mean, it really reminds me of the TF2 days because when Valve came out with the orange box and they put it on Xbox, it quickly got abandoned because of all the limitations and all the just red tape and paperwork you got to go through with like Xbox uh, in order to do that stuff. So I do feel from you as, from a developer point of view because working with that kind of limitation sucks. Uh, but yeah, I mean, to all yeah. the people that bought them, it's just, it's just a lot of hassle to do it. I mean, you have to plan those things out like three months in advance just to get a patch update. Yeah, and, 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 and you have to get it perfect because if there is a game breaking bug in there or anything, then you have to wait another three months before you can fix it, and that's yeah. just not. Yeah. That's, like if you didn't get it right the first time, three more months of living with that bug just to fix that one thing. It's yeah, <laughs> yeah. it's ludicrous. Exactly. It's ludicrous. Yeah, and, and with Steam, we can pretty much up. Like if we find a bug now, in theory, we could fix it in an hour and put um, the, the 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 fix live in two hours. So, yeah. I did see a question okay. though. Um, yeah, next question from Sherlo. Um, will we see a Vinny skin soon? Will we see it? Uh, yes, we will. Oh, uh, do we have like a prediction of when? Or Please be like a ninja to go with no. your pirates. Come on, we need some ninja fish. Ninja fish. Ninja no, fish. no pirates. Hmm. Just, just we have pirates no now. We need pirates. ninjas. That's that's. You have to complete the mem. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Ninja fish. There will be a Vinny skin, but when or what it is is super secret. Ah, oh. <laughs> <laughs> so many secrets. I want to know. Oh wait, wait. <laughs> How about now? Is that still a secret? <laughs> uh, okay. Next question. Yami Sora asks, "Could you please start achieving?" Uh, Achieving? Uh, oh, our, no, never mind. It's not a question. <laughs> I, I, <laughs> chat. Reading Comprehension right 101 <laughs> with Weasel. Yes. Uh, quote asks, is there a designated audio technician engineer and are there any plans to improve audio? Well, I can answer that. There's Sonic Technic and they're awesome. <laughs> 
but that he does just does the music. Like there's a lot of other things that go into audio. There we so background effects, noises, ambience, and Ollie and Ollie. Leon and Bo- <laughs> yeah, you have to do the voice as well. Yeah. Do we, do we have like any other announcer in the like in production maybe? Um, we, we just got Susie. Couple. What more do you want? <laughs> well, uh, yeah, I, I well, want more. Are so I like anybody here? I want more. <laughs> more, more, more. <laughs> well, yes. yeah, we have a lot of ideas for announcers. Like, yeah, just basically every astronaut could be an announcer. So there's 15 ideas for announcers. We already <laughs> did. <laughs> Lots already of work in there. Her, but yeah. And we did Gnar's dad, so maybe Gnar himself. I, I love Papa Na. I only play with Papa, Papa Na. Na. He's the only guy that actually calls my team noobs. It's great. <laughs> yeah. I love that fact that he actually calls the team noobs. It's such a good thing. I mean, I actually, I actually play with Susie, so that when I play with my actual coworkers at Ronimo, she calls them my coworkers. So. <laughs> oh well, actually, here's a question about Susie. Why does she say? An enemy has been killed. Yeah, it's because the the, the we we there's a lot of people who dislike the original uh, announcer because he says a enemy has been killed, and that's why. I knew it! I knew it! it! I knew it! I knew it! I knew it! Okay, I yeah. called it. I said it on Mumble. <laughs> it's probably a reference to the fact that the original announcer says a enemy has been killed. I yeah. knew it. Thank that's you. Crazy. <laughs> it's a reference, and I'm good with reference. Yeah. What's up? <laughs> Do another one, Weasel. Uh, another one? Yeah. Uh, we'll take okay. a few more before we get back to the hatch notes. Yeah, uh, guys, just post your questions in the chat, and we'll ask Ollie whatever you wish. Uh, like Bezex911 Twitch TV asks, question, what will the replays be saved as? I'm not 100% sure, actually. There are probably going to be uh, lots of small files. So one replay will be uh, lots of small files. And every file will be 10 seconds of replay, I believe. Um, so there probably will some be some kind of folder on your computer with folders in them. And each folder is a replay. And each replay uh, is like... Uh, one million files. <laughs> I mean, can so, we, like make it one file? Well, that's six. That's six files a minute if it's ten seconds. And most get matches, even competitive matches, like it's really hard to push the thirty-minute barrier. So you're talking yeah, one hundred and eighty the... files, more or less. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. Yeah. Well, so, why not just make it one big file that is like compressed with all the contents in? I, I know, right? Yeah, I, I don't know. That's our programming. <laughs> <laughs> it's <nice. laughs> that's the well, answer. Well, yeah. one thing that's that's cool about this format that if you can, if you uh, would be able to save your uh, uh, replays to your Dropbox, then another guy might be reading those files at the same time. So you basically have online spectator mode wrapped into replays. That's sort of an interesting thought. I I'm not I'm not promising that this will work, but. As I said, programming. That, yeah. you should just leave it there. It's that. programming, yeah. <laughs> With the jazz hands. Yeah. Uh, one more question by again uh, by sorry by Von Raptor. If Foxy in February is optimistic, when is the splash art revealed? Anytime soon? Um, the splash art for Foxy will probably be revealed when we start the beta for Foxy. Which is not uh, this patch, like not this patch. Which right? is not this patch, no, it's the, it's the next patch. So that will probably be like within three weeks when the beta starts. So that's, Something you know, like again, the, about the end of February, beginning of March. Yeah. Okay, here's another question. Brad bravely asks, Wood how board. are Scree and Sentry X58 coming along? Uh, well, Scree hasn't been worked on yet. Uh, and Fabian's just started uh, working on the Sentry. And they're still in an early exploration phase. Like, we're looking at, there's already one skill that we know that he's going to use. Like, he's going to have a shield that absorbs damage. And when he reaches a damage threshold, you can shoot a, a, a beam or a bolt or, or, 
or, or missile or whatever we don't we don't really know um, and that does the damage you just absorbed and then there's going to be another skill but there's also going to be a basic attack and a jump mechanic and we haven't figured those out yet but uh, please yeah, turn them into is, a phone uh, booth that's all I want just a skill that turns them into a phone booth yeah that's <laughs> good <laughs> Yeah, we've we've been talking about a lot of lot of stuff. Like maybe you should have a a phone booth mechanic where he goes invisible when he's standing still, or yeah, a lot of stuff. And we've been reading a lot of cool uh, ideas from the community as well. So those are definitely inspiring. <laughs> so when you say like he absorbs the damage and then you can like shoot out a beam or missile, I just immediately think of Iron Man. It's just like he gets hit by Thor's lightning. He's just oh yeah. Like, oh cool. Bam there. Yeah, and the yeah, exactly and right. something like that. Yeah, that'd be amazing. Yeah, we good. For, I think we're good for questions for now, Weasel. We'll do a few more uh, after we finish up with the patch notes because did want to. There were some questions about the patch notes. For example, uh, why do I keep clicking that? Hopefully, people don't uh, figure out what that is yet. I saw uh, some concerns about Ted. Yes, Ted actually. McPain. Reload time of shotgun yeah. is increased. Shotgun shells cap is uh, reduced, and then shells also reload during minigun or machine gun mode stance. Yep. That seems um, pretty drastic changes. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Um, well, what we saw from a lot of people was that they never used machine gun, and we really want to give people a, a, a better reason to go into machine gun stance other than to do the snipe or to do the uh, airstrike alone. Um, so this is a way to force people to switch stances more, which is what, what he's all about, kind of, the, the, the stance switching. The stance um, dancing, yep. Yeah, exactly. He has like four glorious. weapons, and you're right. I mean, all I typically see are airstrikes and shotguns, and then into the late game, maybe grenades. Only really, like, mm -hmm. tier one play, league one play, have I ever really seen snipe, ever. Really? I always took Snipe with Ted, but since the last patch, I think he's been really underpowered, to be honest. You think four weapons isn't enough? Um, well, I guess he's really hard to master right now. And... That's a better yeah, way right to now, put it. Yeah. He's prob probably he's probably a little bit underpowered right now. He's um because he relied so much on um, on the burst of his shotgun. Like we nerfed the shotgun now in uh, in patch 2.2, that's on the beta. So that that'll that'll probably like the one thing that was the best about that was this this insane burst with the shotgun, and we nerfed that. Um, so he gets more of a broad uh, role. Um, so we we might have to increase his shotgun damage maybe or uh, or some other stuff, but. Right now, we're, we're mainly looking at this playstyle, like creating a character that revolves more about using all your skills instead of just uh, ignoring some stuff. Like, a lot of players just ignore it to be uh, uh, stim, because it's it's not really a useful ability. It doesn't really do anything for your for, for Ted, unless you take the reload. Um, so we're 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 looking at that, and the, and this patch is probably is is uh, more about his playstyle than about his balance. So we want to get his playstyle right initially, and then later on in the beta we will uh, balance him out. Uh, also, about the new patch, which I really want to uh, tell everyone is that all you Kickstarter backers, hello. Uh, all you that. guys that deserve the credits and all you guys that got the bot names, it's going to happen. Already happened in the beta. Just join the beta. You should have access if you're one of those uh, high tier backers and you will see your credit and your names. And yep. that's awesome. Yep. That is... a lot of, we've been having a lot of laughs uh, when playing in the office. So there's uh, a lot of cool bots. In there. There's still no jester bot. I'm sorry. Ooh, the we have to fix bot. it. <laughs> the weasel bot is the one who's missing. I do like killing TMT over and over again. It, uh, it makes me giggle a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm making a note. Add weasel bot. Add weasel bot. <laughs> and he only With plays this? Foxy. Yeah. Yeah, um, weasel killed weasel. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> the dream. 
there's <laughs> another big factor of this next coming patch that I think uh, you wanted to discuss, and that's the fact that you're now going to be collecting global metrics from players that play games in order to try yeah. to develop a better matchmaking algorithm. That that I think I got that right, right? Uh, yeah. So uh, yeah, the metrics are primarily for balancing uh, reasons. Okay. So no, so, so to me, balancing the matchmaking. Like that counts to me as balance because sometimes we get some really bad matchups. Yeah, but that's a separate thing. We're also working on better, better matchmaking. We have a lot of uh, good ideas on how we can improve uh, the matchmaking. Yeah, it, we we definitely see that there are problems right now with the matchmaking. Isn't as good as it could be. We have a lot of ideas that we uh, to improve those. So uh, yeah, expect those to come out within the coming months. I, I'm not sure on when we will have those things good enough. No, mom, you have to go that way. <laughs> <laughs> yes, mom. Yes, mom. Hello. Mom for love. Love. Welcome mom. back from grocery mom shopping. <laughs> Everybody slash mom love. Okay, oh, come, love. come here, mom. Come here. Mom, can, we love This is the you. microphone. Oh, this is the awesome. the webcam. Hello. Hello, mom. I don't hello, hear you, court, but mom. hello, nice to meet you, whoever you are. I'll come up in a bit. Um, I am a guy with a tiger hat, probably seems a little bit weird that that's, your that's son weasel. is talking well, to somebody. That's Weasel. Down yeah. There. See, he's down there. And that's Ollie from the Netherlands. He's over with Ronimo Games. Oh, hi. Hello. This has been a mom invasion on the Ronimo Games channel, guys. I, um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> cool. She came to visit. It was very nice. I you. feel so lonely now. <laughs> I want my, mom. my mom's awesome. What can I say, Ollie? What can I say, man? Yeah. All right. Spectator mode. Uh, replay stuff. Spectator mode! Wait, I, I really know that's what Weasel wants to talk about. We need to, con to confirm this. Spectator mode! We don't have the confirmed logo yet. Um, still working Damn on it. it. I haven't talked to Kunin a bit, but um, for anybody that has been watching the show, I mean, we did go live with uh, the video today made by Kuhn. Uh, the music was made by Weasel. The background right now is animated all through huge help here. But he hasn't given me the confirmed stamp. I want to stamp things that say confirmed when we, when we actually get that. Yes, confirmed. So you get 99%. You get a 99% pass, Kian. Either way, though, spectator mode, we know it's in development. Uh, we know that replays are coming because Kickstarter was amazing. You guys made so much money. Uh, and we're very yes. happy about that. And can I can I actually like show them the picture that you sent me now? Because I've been flashing it a few times by accident during this. So <laughs> yes, yeah. show it already. I'm dying. We to have see. your permission, Ollie. We have your permission. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. All right, here you go, guys. Oh, uh, do we? <laughs> no, you don't need the gun for this. Don't uh, need the gun for this. All right. Okay. So what exactly are we looking at here? Well, we've talked to Ronimo. They've taken some surveys. They've talked to some of the players, and we said. We want a spectator mode that has X, Y, and Z. And from what I can tell here, it's pretty much like almost exactly what I envisioned it as. I love cool. it. I just, the, the picture it just says everything right now. I mean, it's just perfect. Like everything we talked about on, the, um, on, the, on that one drop pod, and it just, I just hope that we have the ability to hotkey everything. And yep. I think it's gonna be perfect. So yeah, tell, us about, tell us about, uh, just tell us about, just tell us about, Spectator Mode, Ali. Just go yeah, ahead. Um, yeah. Um, yeah, it'll be, it'll be pretty cool, but it will be a lot like Dota Spectator Mode, basically. We, we kind of looked at which Spectator Modes are the best that there are right now, and, and those are StarCraft 2 and Dota 2. They yeah, have the best Spectator too. Mode. So we looked at that. And then we added some our stuff, or we thought about some stuff that we want to add. So basically, what you're looking at, at is a uh, uh, a still image of the spectator mode. It it doesn't really function, uh, or or it, it does work, but it, it doesn't look like it's uh, like like it looks in this image yet. But when it's finished, you'll be able to hotkey everything basically. Which will be really cool, and uh, you'll be able to increase the game speed uh, or slow it down to do slow motions. You can do an there will be an instant replay function where you uh, skip back five seconds or something like that. 
and there will be all kinds of stats that you can show and you can add more windows to the screen so if you want more more uh, uh, if you want different stats on the screen on the same time you can do that there's basically a whole lot of customization options for for the spectator basically what will be a will we be able to actually zoom out uh, from the spectator mode like have like a wider view of what's happening yep Oh, that's awesome. One that's awesome. one word answer. Yep. 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 <laughs> there yeah, you go, it, guys. It looks yeah. really cool, and and it's uh, there is there will probably be uh, a zoom limit, like maybe maybe like you the can whole zoom map. Like, <laughs> no, I'm not I'm not sure if that will work with uh, the the parallaxing we have in the background. That well, is that is true. I don't. I don't think that's necessary to be honest. A zoom limit sounds just fine. Just the fact that we could like uh, increase the fav just a tiny bit would be just perfect. Just to get like a whole yeah. picture of what's happening on screen at all times would be crazy good. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's re also it's really fun to see how matches play, uh, to have a bigger overview, to see what everyone's doing, and you get a better sense of, oh, what he's doing right now is really stupid, and maybe people <laughs> will... <laughs> maybe, to be maybe blunt. people will even... Yeah. <laughs> um, and and it will hopefully be easier for uh, casters, and casters and stuff like that to, to explain what's going on on the map and to explain why uh, certain strategies work on, on certain maps and stuff like that. In regard to like a wider zoom, like StarCraft has a wider zoom, and I think League of Legends by default has a wider zoom, but you can't like zoom back out of the default. So here, you know, going a bit bigger would be great. Going the whole map, I said that, but then I thought, I mean, I've seen games where you have full map zooms, and it just kind of like disorients, and sometimes actually makes your viewers sick. So I'm totally going to strike that. Yeah, don't do the whole full map, but like one and a half view, maybe up to a two view. I think that should probably be good. Um, the big yeah, question for me is, can you click on the mini-map to jump to that point? Uh, right now we don't have that, but we, we might might add that in later. It's, okay. it's on wish list. So it's not definitely. clickable at all? Uh, not as of now, right. but uh, as the maps are pretty small, you can, uh, with mouse control, you can scoot around the map pretty quickly. So, But we, but we don't have it right now. It's something that we would like to make. So. Um, it might or might not be in the first version of the replays. Okay, yeah, because like really, the map control is going to be the big one. Um, you said we have hotkeys though. Can we jump to knots? Yep. You so can, we can uh, just hit, we, hit like the yeah, three, yeah. for example, to jump to. Uh, I'm just going to take the dead lone star. That was a bad example. Let's say the two to yeah. jump to Durple. Yeah, exactly. That's exactly how it will work. Yeah. And even tells you who you have selected there. That's good. Actually, I didn't. Yeah. So if way. if you there there will be I think one through six will select your astronaut and then uh, the button left of one. How do you call it? The apostrophe. That will select the free cam that you can scoot around with your yeah, mouse. The tilde. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So what are we actually looking at? What is the solar? I'm guessing that that's the amount of solar that the uh, character picked on the left. Yeah. So there will be various stats. You will have. Uh, you can select uh, a solar comparison, or you can select a, a kill death comparison of all the characters, or a net uh, worth of all the characters. So how much have they actually spent, and how much have they actually gained throughout the game, and how much of that is through piggy bank, or how much of that is through uh, money tree stuff like that. How and much through yeah, money tree would be interesting. Yeah. yeah, that actually sounds really sweet. Like you could actually deduct like serious game strategies from just like commentating on a replay. Yeah, and uh, also another thing that we would like to get in, or I personally would like to get in, not not that it's important or anything, is APM because it looks uh, pro. <laughs> but how how do you measure what, APM with a with a controller? I'm not sure. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's a good... Because, like, good I can keep thing. spamming A. Mm. <laughs> <I> mean, <laughs> what else do you... <laughs> what else could you do? <laughs> Hit all the buttons at once. Mm. They're not bound. Don't care. APM. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. <laughs> mm. 
<laughs> so I, in this game, I'm not entirely sure that APM would actually be a worthwhile metric. Maybe chat has something else to say about that, but because it, you it do will have... definitely not be worthwhile, but it'd be for, for the controllers, it's like going to be <laughs> non-existent almost. Yeah. <laughs> yep. But I, I, I'm not sure how many uh, people in tournaments play on controllers anyway, so... There is quite a few high-tier um, controllers. Really? Yeah. yeah. Depends on who your knots are. Like, cool. I've heard it's much easier to with a controller for Yuri, for example. Yeah, yeah, Yuri is actually in theory is way better with a controller. And I didn't see any Yuri enough. changes coming, so I still got to suffer this silly monkey uh, in the next patch. It seems. Yeah, I agree. I agree. <laughs> I talked to Fabian about it. It's uh, it's being worked on. <laughs> spam taunt. I like that suggestion from chat. Spam taunt as a measurable APM. Um, oh yeah. <laughs> so you got the controls in the top right. You got. Uh, the overlays in the top with the set, with the uh, timer, your metrics to the left, and I'm assuming down in the bottom here is item purchases. Bottom yep. right. Item purchases. Yeah. So every time anyone buys an item, you basically get a pop up with uh, the character and which item he bought. So as a uh, spectator or as a commentator, you don't have to go back to the shop to see what everyone has. Is that um, tooltip hoverable? Because I'm, I'm, I am I'm won't lie, I know a lot of the skills and I know a lot of what they do. I don't know mm -hmm. all of them, to be honest. No, 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 no. We did, tooltips is something that's been on our wish list for like a million years. Also for the, for the game itself, right? If you open up the scoreboard and like I, I worked on the game, I half of the time I don't even know what everyone has bought uh, in a match that I'm in. I just see the images and I know the who made the images, <laughs> but I don't know what they actually are, the items that they bought. I, you took a risk there admitting that. <laughs> yeah, so that's a, that's kind of a small design flaw in the game, but we'll, yeah, we'll, uh, tooltips are on our wish list. But I, I'm not sure whether this, this specific uh, uh, feature will be in spectator mode right away the the, the pop-up thing mm -hmm. um, so yeah we'll have to see wait and see how uh, what our coders come up with okay do you have any other questions here Weasel or should we take them from the chat um, I actually I don't see any questions for the chat so well, far there was one from Darkshire um, about um, I banners yeah since the spectator mode is looking very Dota-esque I mean Dota has embeddable team banners so you can make yourself an emblem, and then you can bet mm. it in the game. I I know that's probably like a straight out no, but it's an interesting notion in in the future, especially if APL keeps you know getting bigger and bigger and bigger. You know, create yeah. emblems in game, use you know in game art to to uh, specialize that kind of stuff. Yeah, sounds good. I'm I'm writing it down. <laughs> there you go. Wow. That will be on our wish list. Does I mean, Ronimo listen to, to feedback? Well, yes, and in fact, you can see him literally writing it down right now, over there. Not over there, over there. Embeddable <laughs> emblems. <laughs> Who knows, maybe that would come, come in this year. Go to show guys on the chat. Yeah. Yeah, we can, we can almost we see what that says. It's, it's pretty white. <laughs> <laughs> pretty white. You can affect the game. That's what makes awesomeness so awesome. You yeah, just give us your feedback. As long as it's in a constructed and well-behaved manner, then we will definitely listen to it and we'll take it seriously. So, yeah. All right, Weasel, hit us up. Um, okay. Oh, this is an interesting question. Uh, Pocket Wraith asks: Will there be a team color indicator for buying pop-up? Otherwise, it could get confusing when the same knot in both teams. Yeah, two Genjis. Yeah. Yeah. I'm writing it down as well. It's a good suggestion. <laughs> there you go. You now, see, in that's the, what makes this game awesome. In the top tier, we haven't allowed uh, the the solo, or at least the double knots in the last few tournaments. But of course, this will be an overarching replay system. So that is a very, very valid question. Um, Kev bomb. Will the loading screen be updated with Ted and Foxy, or what's going to be the deal with that? It's getting pretty crowded, you know. Yeah, maybe too crowded. Uh, <laughs> maybe, yeah, well, maybe it's time for a change. Maybe it's time for a change. Well, uh, we have some ideas for the loading screen, um, but they are super secret. Oh, there you have it. Super there secret loading have it. screen. 
<laughs> Super free secret loading screen. Super secret loading screen. We right. will change the loading screen in a way that it will change your lives. <laughs> your lives change will be the same. Uh, <laughs> Natlog is asking about the PS4 release window for Awesome Nuts. Uh, actually, we had a small uh, announcement on Facebook about that a couple of days ago. Oh, yeah. uh, Do you have it? Like a link to it? Yeah. Uh, let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Um, I'm eating chocolate. I don't care. I've noticed. Sorry, I had my mom uh, visit. You're eating chocolate. Naza and Wolf for MIA. <laughs> it's it's just that kind of day, guys. It's just that kind of day. Yeah, yeah basically. Oh, good. Basically, the PS4 version has taken us a little bit longer than expected. Uh, there, were, there were some nasty bugs with the old new uh, backend for the PS4, and being being a new platform and new console brings along a, a lot of technical challenges. But um, the bug that has been plaguing us uh, for weeks appears to be resolved. Uh, and we are entering submission again. So basically, we sent the, the game to Sony again to see, and they have to give us uh, the green light. If they give us the green light, uh, there could be an awesome nod within a, a matter of weeks uh, on PS4. So, yeah. Was this uh, on the yeah, Ronimo think, Games? Yeah, it's. Uh, let me send you. I'm just looking link. for it, yeah. Um, I see a question from Deadly Lampshade. <laughs> Will there be a VOD of the drop pod? I can't watch this because of all the Twitch rebuffering. Yeah, well, it should be. But... Yeah, it should I mean, be recorded. This, <laughs> yeah, it's rec Twitch. That's what Twitch does, dude. It just records this shit after it's done. So just go back to the Twitch. So yeah. just watch. The quick answer is yes. When when we're done here and we sign off, it'll be pretty much instantly available here on Twitch. Um, <laughs> exactly. I don't know if we've actually been putting them on YouTube or not. I haven't. Uh, I've been leaving that to the APO, but I have no idea if they've been doing it or not. So at the very okay. least, you'll be able to watch this on Twitch. Here's a here's another question that I've seen uh, being asked like a couple of times already. Uh, Windmill asks with the a few more of them. What do you think of the skin contest? Like, there's a skin contest going on right now um, for, like, the best skin that is going to be some random knot. And yep. have you seen submissions, Ali? Yeah, 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 yeah. We've been seeing, we've seen hundreds of submissions. Hundreds? Well, not hundreds, but more than hun a hundred. <laughs> Uh, how about Volt Arnold? Was Volt Arnold included? No, 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 no. We haven't seen a Volt Arnold, so... Uh... Guys, I can't draw. Don't expect me to draw. Somebody make Volt Arnold. Wow. Volt Arnold. Wow. <laughs> I want to hear Ollie do the Volt Arnold. Technosynoptic <laughs> wave modulated optimum rig. Wow. <laughs> it needs to happen. Like Volt Arnold with muscles and eyes as nipples. Come on! <laughs> I don't want to play that at all. Not I at all. Will, I will play the crap out of that one. <laughs> well, we we have seen a, a lot of really really good submissions already. From uh, uh... can you can you tell us some favorites like uh, right now? I, I'm, I bet it's going to change because I bet the submissions are not s stopping anytime soon. But can we, you tell us right now? We are seeing a lot of Vinnies. Right now, oh. skin, skin mm -hmm. ideas for Vinny's. We have a confirmed skin uh, for Vinny. <laughs> a, a, a mystical skin. <laughs> a mystical a skin. Su super secret skin. No one knows when it will be out. Mm. Confirm. When will uh, we, the, What if somebody makes the Kuna? The Na Kuna. Kuna. Yeah, with the little mm. weedling specter. Oh yeah, the little cunelings. Like, every time yeah. you walk by, the, yeah, every time you walk by the little weedlings, they have little small glasses, and they're like. <laughs> yeah, we've been asking for that for a while, but I don't think anybody actually submitted that. So. <laughs> no, 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 no one did. <laughs> but yeah, we've seen a lot, lot of really, really cool ideas already. So, um, I can't wait to have them out there and let everyone vote on them. 
All right, thanks for your questions, guys. We'll do one more Q&A at the end when we give away five skins in chat. Five. So if you're watching five. this and you're not in chat and I start saying keywords and you don't enter for skins, then you have no one this to blame but yourself. No one to blame for this your, but yourself. All right, our last topic tonight uh, as we wind down is a little bit about Foxy. Foxy not. Imagine that. We have Ollie right here. Uh, to answer. So we did an interview on episode two, I think, to, to talk a little bit about Foxy and a little bit about things coming out. And as we said, you're looking at about an end of February slash early March release. And this is a knot yeah. that features a combo point system. So yeah. elaborate a little with us, sir. Yeah, explain. What is exactly a combo point for people who didn't play World of Warcraft? It's <laughs> a good way to ask. Uh... Good way to put it. Yeah. Combo points have been in a lot of games, like there are so many variations on it. Like you have, you have the Rogue in World of Warcraft, or you have the, the Paladin in World of Warcraft. It also has a sort of combo point system. Um, and also the, the Assassin in Diablo 2, and, and yeah, a lot, lots of games have combo points, Street Fighter, you name it. Um, what it boils down to, she will get combo points from attacking her enemies, and then she can unleash those combo points with her skills. And she has to choose tactically on which skill she will use all her combo points. Oh, so, so basically, basically so basically she stacks the combo points to choose one of both skills or is the main yeah. weapon going to be an ish, uh, a thing too? No, the, ma the main weapon is, is the way she gains combo points. So that's oh. her attack. Oh, I and see. then, but, it's in in a there, the cool thing with Arsenals is there are all kind of items that we can use to modify these combo points and what they do. So there's items that radically change your main attack when you have a certain amount of combo points. So um, at that point, your main attack also becomes influenced by the combo points. And yeah, there's just a lot of build diversity, hopefully, in this character. So like. Um does her loadout look like everything about loadouts or is there like a focused like place where you spend your amount on loadouts or is there maybe a different way to actually play her without the combo points like i know for example when i play uh, genji i don't necessarily have to go to blessing i can just go left click and have some fun with him or but combo points are like a take... core feature. It's like, would you play it against you without auto attack? Like, no, but I mean, okay, a core feature for Ted is like he switches weapons, but right. I don't necessarily need to use machine gun, even though Ronimo wants me to use machine gun. But still, <laughs> like, there's a lot of characters <laughs> that has that thing where I can choose, and it's part of what I really like. I don't. I maybe don't want to be forced into combo points like choices, but maybe it has it like implemented in another way. I don't know. I'm interested. Um, well, there's definitely just auto attack builds with uh, the Fox uh, as it stands right now. And there are the ways to play or with uh, just uh, your left click or, or, or just your right click or just your middle click. or uh, Yeah, there's all kinds of ways to play her. That sounds boring, though. <laughs> no, you are... dude. I'm, I'm, hey, just your I'm no, a CLC. No. Do you know what's a CLC? Uh, I'm a certified left clicker. <laughs> <laughs> That's a CLC right there. CLC spam. You just want to hold the left click to win, huh? Is that what you want to do down there? That's mm -hmm. what I do. That's what I do. Actually, I, you know, I've been. I, I looked at my build orders, and with like 80% of the knots that I play, I left click, and it works. Can Weasel left click wow. to win with Foxy? CLC. No, I I don't think so. It, it'll, 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 <laughs> maybe... <laughs> let me. Okay, Oli. Let me rephrase the question. <laughs> <laughs> Bullets, my only weakness. <laughs> oh, you got me in the head, my. Uh, hmm. Well, she. Well, let me. She's built to have a lot of ways to play her. She's kind of built to have a lot of a uh, lot of item build variety and a lot of ways to play her. You can play her 
with one skill you play with both skills and the emphasis on one, on one of the two skills or yeah i i i just yeah there there, there are just a lot of ways to play and it's it's gonna be really 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 cool um yeah without going into specifics she has a lot of a lot of items that modifies how uh how you should use her skills in conjunction with the combo points so it's kind of hard the to talk about it without going into specifics right right okay so uh Darkshire asks a really cool question and i don't know if you can answer it but mm -hmm. just feel free to say yes or no Darkshire asks is she going to be melee or rage uh yes <laughs> that's that, that's the only right one answer. or the other gotcha. yeah yes yes all right <laughs> Maybe Damn. combo points add range, you know? Who knows? We can theorycraft about that all day. Would, would a good comparison of how combo points are generated be the way that Gnaw has to build parts for his Wheatling? Kind of yep. very similar or exactly similar? No, not exactly similar because... Uh, yeah, there, there are some subtleties because uh, Gnaw can only place his Wheatlings when he has all the parts for right. one Wheatling. And Foxy is a little bit more versatile than that. Okay. So yeah, there you go. Because, I mean, like one combo point maybe is just increased damage. Two could be increased damage and range if she's melee. She now has a gun. Interesting. Sword, gun, fox, lasers. I don't know. Okay. Well, okay. Uh, but I see a problem with that though, because what what would stop me from just stacking five? I'm guessing it's five because every game has five or six. Mm -hmm. But I'm guessing it's five. Uh, what stops me from just stacking those five combo points and just going all Genji OP thing? Because after you get five, you expend them. That's what combos do. Yeah, but what if I don't use the abilities to expend then, them? Then you're not using your abilities. <laughs> <laughs> Ollie's staying really quiet here, but <laughs> but I haven't heard of, I'm wrong yet. So. <laughs> Damn I mean, all right, let's you open up with World of Warcraft. Rogues, you build five combo points. You don't spend them. You didn't use abilities. That's how I. That's how I see this going. Forward. Yeah, but there's no beneficial uh, anything when you actually build combo points with the rogues in World of Warcraft. Right. Again, that's how I see it going forward. Am I right? Am I wrong? I don't know. Ollie's being a brick wall over in that diagonal corner for me. In some cases, you're right, and in some cases, you're wrong. It seems like a really kind of complicated be... nod. <laughs> Yeah, she's she's pretty theory crafty, I think. Is there an upper limit her... on combo points? Like there is going to be a hard set max yeah. that you're full, yeah. right? Full combo. Yeah, okay. you have all the combo points that you can't get anymore. Yeah. So I mean, Weasel, you're probably right. It's probably between three and five, but I'd be very surprised mm -hmm. if it was uh, more than that. But Foxy's again like going to be looking for end of February slash March release. I fully suspect she'll be absolutely playable by packs. Like yep. that, because that's April, right? Yep. Yeah, I expect something really weird would have to happen. Uh, hmm. Would that not happen? So. Speaking mm -hmm. of PAX, you guys have gone to PAX before. Mm hmm. Do you have any plans yep. this year? Uh, yeah, definitely. We'll we will be we will be there at PAX, and we hope to see a lot of people there, and that'll be really cool. The main uh, reason is getting a ticket for Weasel to PAX, right? It's more like a plane uh, yeah. ticket for Weasel to America. Right? <laughs> right? I mean... Right? <laughs> right? <Yeah. laughs> and that was the last we saw of Ollie as he never came back to the drop uh... <laughs> <laughs> I think that's how I found out about Awesome Not So. Like, Total Biscuit came to your, your booth. And you guys talked about a 2D MOBA side scroller, and I was like, Pfft. "That can never work." <laughs> and here That's I am. I like wh that was what three years ago? I want to say that was three years ago. Yeah, that was on Euro Eurogamer Expo in in London, I believe, when we met. Oh, well, maybe it wasn't yeah. PAX then. Maybe it was Eurogamer. No, no, it wasn't PAX. I could have sworn oh, yeah. you guys went to PAX at least once. Yeah, l last year we did. Um, so maybe the that's year what before I that was the Eurogamer. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, yeah, but we will be there this year as well. Kuden uh, will be there to confirm everything. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, need to get. Uh, need to get photos. We just need to get a photo of Kuhn with like some of the 
other guys just going spectator mode because he won. Um, yeah. Oh my god. And bring Kuna. a weedling costume for him. Yeah. Kuna, it has to happen. Kuna has to happen. <laughs> I'm serious. This, like, I know new players will not have any clue what the hell is going on, <laughs> but it doesn't matter <laughs> because you walk towards the weedlings and they have ha hands now and they say, <laughs> Yeah! <laughs> <Get him on. laughs> <laughs> All right, skin giveaway in chat, guys! Exclamation mark, Ronimo! Hit it up because uh, we're gonna open that up for a few minutes. Give away five random skins to viewers, Ooh. and um, you know, Ali, since you're the guest, you know, we got a lot of skins. Um, you guys have been very generous with your repository here. Name five skins we should give away today. Hmm, we should give away a party boy tap. A party yes. boy Ted. I can totally do that. Party boy Ted gonna Let's be one go. of the one of the one of the skins. Please tell me chat is still working. We happened last time I was actually here. Yeah, last time like chat stopped. Did you did you see me right type that out? Tried. Did you see Ronimo Games type that out, Weasel? <laughs> no. Uh, no. Oh my no. god. What? Really? Did Skype <laughs> just die exactly when we tried to do the skin competition? Again? Really? You're kidding that's me. Ex that's exactly what happened last time when we tried the chat. And we couldn't give out skins. I mean, we did give out some skins, but we couldn't get a confirmation. Oh, I there see, we go. I see so, Varela. I said something. Uh, I see Mocha. Oh, okay, it go. works. It works. It works. Thank it works. God. I, don't, I still don't see whatever you were typing. Yes, sure, but don't I care. See. Exclamation mark, Ronimo. We're giving away there a party go. boy. Let's give away titanium as well because he looks badass. Mm -mm. But nice. What do you think? Not at uh, all like Blizzard. You fan of school deer, Ollie? Not at all. Fan of school deer? <laughs> Uh, no, not really. All right, no school deer skin then. Um, uh, how about some Genji love? Do we have some Genji love? Here? I don't Maybe have. Some, I don't uh... have a Genji skin. I got Swiggins. Uh, S mm. Swiggins, Durple, Ayla. Okay, some Swig action. Swiggins, Durple, Ayla. How about Ayla. some Swig Abyssal? Uh, nah. It's the best, the best premium skin I've ever spent money on. Yeah, whoa, let's whoa, let's whoa, do an Abyssal whoa. Swiggins. The That's Abyssal what Swiggins? I'm playing. Do you know, Ollie, do you know that every time I play Abyssal Swiggins, I bound my jump with taunt together? <laughs> oh, <bro. laughs> my jump is like, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> yeah. Uh, either chat is working in spurts, or it's just hates me, because I have 17 people entered in chat, and we have 94 think, on stream. I think it's it's in spurts. Huh. See, like it it goes and then it stops and it goes and then it stops. I got 18 people in chat. What should I do, Ali? Should we move it to like a Twitter contest, or just give away to five people, or? What do you want to do? Uh, should I just give, give it to, away... or should I just give it like random in chat? Just have you paste them in chat and just free for all. Uh, let, let's let's just give them, give away five now, and we'll give away five five later on Twitter as well. Okay. okay so uh, do I just put me, them in the uh, chat, uh, or do you want me to like literally do the I'll, giveaway? I I can random people from the chat. Hold on. I can. I have. This oh, I have a I have I a random can... generator. Weasel, that's not the oh. problem. Oh, we can do we can do both. Like we we paste five skins in the chat and we also give five away. So okay, um, I I here. have all the people in the chat right now, and That's I'm gonna I. randomize one of them. So you tell me when you want the name, and I'll give you. Well, if they can see me typing, I'm just gonna paste all five. Okay, but I don't think anybody can see me chatting. That's the problem. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> You didn't. You obviously didn't see it, right? I said, "Can you see this?" No, I, I can't see you typing at all. Nope. 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 You can see people. Can, can people see yours? Just type in something, Weasel, because I'll just give them to you, and you can just randomize. Okay, Why Twitch? Like the whole, the whole bloody thing is like the Twitch chat was working, and now we try to give away skins, and it doesn't. Okay, mm. I I posted something in the chat. Does anybody see it? Nope. All right, it's clearly yep. on the fritz. Um, Can we put it on screen? Put, yeah, how about putting it on screen? The skin code, you mean? Yeah. Yeah. All right, we'll do 30-second skin codes on screen. 
Yes. And have the Jeopardy like theme song in the background. If only I was that organized. All right. So for whatever reason, guys, we're giving you 30 seconds. Go get your Steam open. Uh, first skin giveaway is going to be Teddy, uh, Party Boy McPain. So if you don't have Party Boy, we'll put him up. I'm going to open up a clock here for 30 seconds. Yeah, if you want to know how you do it, you go to Steam, you click on games, and you go to activate a product on Steam. You hit the first next, you hit the second next. I mean, the, I agree. And then you have product code bar, and you put the key inside. So whenever you're ready, you get that. Yep, 10 if you're seconds. the first one to get it. Then, there you go. So, what's today? Uh, 15 Set. to 2014. And? All right, first skin is out. Party Boy go. McPain. Down, Party Boy! Down there in the bottom, Party Boy McPain. It'll stay up there for another 30 seconds, and then we will do a Titanium Ted McPain. Because uh, Ronimo has given us all these skins to give away, cause they're awesome. Uh -huh. Seriously though, you guys have been very uh, tremendous with your support, and not only this, but the APL, as well as a lot of skin giveaways. I see people giving away skins all the time on like YouTube and stuff. So, yeah, th thanks. Yeah, it's just giving back to the community because awesome as an awesome, awesome, awesome community. It's really it's cool. amazing. So. It's amazing that to see like I have to say it in front of titanium uh, skin up and i will say just it's amazing to see how devs incorporate themselves inside the community and i mean it inside the community in a level that you res like you've reached it's just like just goes to show that a draw pod about a game and we have a dev right here and it's not like he's on gunpoint and anybody's making <laughs> him do it Skins, I mean, please, Ali. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's it's all it's all uh, it's all because I like you guys so much. All right, so the titanium so skin right. is up. Few more seconds. Abyssal Swiggins. It's gonna be our third skin, and woof, woof, he is going woof, out woof, 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 now. Woof, 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 That's Abyssal Swiggins on the screen. Can we do right a now. ravishing Raylan as well? If you have a code, very quickly. Cause I only have oh. what I was given back in December. Oh, let me let me see. I can do Na and Durpal, or you can give me a Raylan, or we can do all three. Oh, a Na yeah. bot. Do a Na bot. Should, we should do ra Ravishing Raylan because of Valentine's Day. All right, give oh, me. Oh, actually, that's. Toss that's me the code point. in in the chat, and we'll do that last. Na bot will be up next. Na bot. Cunelings, mm. cunelings. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah, I mean, Twitch TV has a chat giveaway tool, and every time I try to use it, every time I'm on this show, it dies before we do the giveaway. Maybe we should just do the giveaways at the beginning, but then nobody will stick around with the show. I mean, they're only here for the how skins. About, how about we just like make sure to go on IRC chat before we enter the show? Maybe that will actually work. All know. right, Nabot on screen mm. right now. So hit those buttons, guys. The people have been grabbing him. The chat has been very spurty in their uh, updating. Yeah, they're so fast. They Somebody so fast. has like like a Korean level APM there. Three hundred, yeah, three hundred <laughs> APM Korean level. That's like over <laughs> nine thousand, dude. All right, get that Nabot skin because we do have ravishing Rayland, courtesy of Ollie. Happy Valentine's Day, by the way, bro. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Happy Valentine's Day, bro. Oh God. Yeah, bro. Holy, yeah. it's not bro. Come on. Um, but we are winding down. Of course, down. we do thank Ollie and Ronimo Games for coming on the stream and talking to us about the new patch, the spectator interface stuff, and Foxy. And next week, uh, hopefully, we can get the crew together. Actually, am I? Yeah, I'm here next weekend. So yeah, I will. I will be here. Weezy, you gonna save the date for me? Um, I don't know, but just say Ollie. yes. Say yes, Ali. Hello. Happy you put a bow on. <laughs> Thank you. you. This you is like better you? than the gun. Ravishing Raylan on screen, guys. That's I our can... last skin for today. Ravishing Raylan. I can convince you to do anything I want with the game. Uh, but yeah, again, Ali. Thanks wow, for how are there. you gonna do that? Thanks for suffering with Weasel there. Uh, no, Weasel's <laughs> just stop. <laughs> <laughs> 
Uh, can people find you out there in any of the social spheres or just Ronimo games? I'm, I'm sorry, what was that? Can people I'm, find I, you out there on the social sphere at all? Oh, yeah, sure. There's uh, Ronimo games uh, on Twitter and Ronimo games on Facebook and also not on Facebook. And, yeah. <laughs> Fair enough. All right. Weasel Baloney. I'm a little. I'm a little. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, just I'm, not I'm used to it. I'm Ollie right now with All this good. bow. Mm. All right, those mm, are the skins, guys. Weasel below me, our trusty co-host, our 100% attendance co-host. Um, yeah, wicked... I'm a 100% co. Holy crap! I'm a co-host who've been here since day one. Where can people oh, find man. you, bro? Where can people find you? Uh, you the can month. go to Weasel Games with a Z on YouTube. Weasel Games, YouTube.com/slash Weasel Games. Weasel Games. Weasel games Amazing. and on twitch weasel games on facebook weasel games whatever and of course on steam you can find him poning your face with uh swiggins and ayla yeah and soon Ayla's to be Foxy. Worst character. oh yeah yeah because you can't lift click to win you're right uh raylan then hopefully uh you didn't take that ravishing raylan skin because i see people in it's, chat it's saying, a genji my main is genji okay Hopefully we'll see in the next tournament then, and hopefully we can get a tournament update one of these days from yeah. NASA. That would be amazing. Uh, I've That's been the I've been doing like streaming tonight, guys. Four Core Jester, Twitch, Twitter, YouTube, and Facebook. If you guys liked everything here, do give that feedback. Awesome Nuts Pro League, as well as Ronimo Games on Twitter, and you know maybe we'll get more devs on uh, just that much uh, more often. But this has been I, Drop Pod Episode Six. Yeah, and one last time, I want to thank like a huge thanks to one of the game, one of the developers of the game that we're all here because it's Ali, the greatest man in history, one of the one of those amazing people, one of the devs for Ronima Games. We love you, dude, and thank you, thank you, thank you for joining us. We appreciate it. You've been an amazing guest star, and you should definitely make a kuna. <laughs> Kun uh, confirmed? Hmm? Yes. Maybe. <laughs> Thanks again, guys. It was a pleasure. We'll catch you next week.